I can't. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how to do that. What was Heat Wave? What the hell is Heat Wave? And so this one's come out of nowhere. Uh, it's by Will with three underscores. Um, I don't know if that's because you have to fill in the blanks and it's William with a classic Chris G username style. It's a 19 exit intermediate and they've created over the past couple of years. It's got linear fast paced platforming as well as slower paced sections with obstacles to be completed in multiple ways. Standard quality of life, custom music, some chocolate mechanics but nothing that alters the physics or controls, no shell jumps or cape, light indication trolls and lore. Uh, 17 required main exits, two post credits bonus ones. Uh, thank everyone who decides to try it out. I hope you have fun, me too. And I think people have been having fun. Giraffe Killer thought was lovely, really impressed. Same with Skags. Uh, unique and fresh compared to your typical Kaizo hack because of the standard inspiration. Some sections on the longer side, good to know. Granudo said it was incredible. Deported thought it was great. Uh, Conair. Uh, play tested it and said it was cool. Komoda gives it the big stamp of approval, S tier. Morsel, more accessible. Um, deliberate difficulty curve, which is cool. Not a lot of people do that. Cool and fun, level design, nice gameplay, unique. Boss fights exist also. Uh, the title screen looks great. We've got a JJ Abrams special over there. Uh, the title of the overworld is, is fine. Oh, that's interesting. Um, that's also interesting. Uh, that looks pretty normal, right? Um, more dodging things that enemies throw. Uh, dodging things that enemies spit out. Lots of chainsaws and dodging things that enemies spit out. But it looks like we've got a one, two, three, the, the tempo platforms. That could be interesting. Let's play Heat Wave. What is this? All right, good start. Birds are a nice touch. Where'd we go? We climbed in the forest. On an eerily warm summer night, Mario sets out to find the source of this mysterious heat. Okay, Yoshi's Greenhouse Retry Instant. Oh, you can... Okay, we'll change it to Prompt L and R. Well, I had to change that in case you wanted to know. Select to save. L or R to change retry type. Great. Is this <laughs> Mario? Ever since this heat wave started, my greenhouse has become totally overgrown. I can't even reach the end. Ah, oh, skill issue. Oh, ooh, yeah. Look, I kind of I. F <laughs> All right, Yoshi, you have a skill issue, but also. I, I can't help you, I'm sorry. Alright, well. Let's move on. Let's go to Pitch Dark, the first level. I'm trying to remember to loop back to Yoshi at some point. Oh. Baseball. So we don't reuse this at all. That's just done. Seems pretty chill, right? And it was at this moment he realized he'd uh, made a mistake. <laughs> Oops. Where was it? It was here. I'm going to be behind the mole. What the heck? Alright. Well, there we go. There are two sprites. Wait, hang on. You gotta spin on this one. Uh, 
It's the same again. It's the same thing again. I'm making the wrong 50-50s today. I think the game might get harder than this at some point. But for now, this this seems fine, right? Alright. Cool! Yeah, that was good. That was good. Some classic stuff. You gotta dodge some baseballs, you gotta jump on moles. There was one thing where you spin on a spiny. Um, yeah, it almost got repetitive, but well, everything had its own little thing going on, right? Good introduction, get the, make sure the thumbs are working. Let's play the Batacombs. Nice looking level. It's already looking good. Boing, boing. <laughs> Yo. For real? What? The heck, dude. Is this like an awesome level? No, I was kidding. The level sucks. It's a stupid level. I guess I had to go to the bat. <laughs> the level, <laughs> the level still rules, by the way. Oh, I just saw some cutoff. I should be looking at the obstacles, okay? There was a there was a corner tile that wasn't right, okay? Anyway, <laughs> there we go. This is a one section a one section banger. That was so much fun. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, cozy cavern. Let's check it out. By the way, the overworld's really good as well. Oh, okay. I got this negative space situation here. Get some vertical scrolling, which is fine. What's the way up here? I guess there might be some other ways, like many ways to do that. Oops. How do I... I guess I, if I do that and then go down the right side, that'll probably work, I guess. No? Whoops. Not that. I need to grab the block while facing away from the dude. So I've got to be like on this side and grab it like that. That's the trick. Yeah, I mean, if you just make like strange setups that I haven't seen yet, I'm gonna take a sec to learn. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, this looks awful. Just kidding, it looks fine. Alright. An internet scammer salesman trying to save you money? Not much of a scam if you save money, is it? play here. Then. 
the speed really fast. SMW in general is like forces you to use beams because you can't load in every single kind of sprite. It's literally just a limitation that everyone has to work around that causes that creative thing that seems as though it's a creative choice but is actually just a limitation that you are stuck with. These themes end up used throughout the whole hack. So just moles? This is this is a mole hack then, I guess? I don't know. That's fine. That was fine. There's one move that was super weird, but I worked it out eventually. Let's have a look at Hang Loose. Where you do rope stuff. It's a classic. Yeah, I, we literally heard this song like what yesterday or the day before didn't we in a different hack um maybe it is a different one and, uh, and they want me to go back right It's the classic Rex move, but in rope form. I don't know what everyone's here, and it sounds like that's... I can't tell the difference. Uh, it's just, yeah, I, I just know this is the Steam Gardens song. There, 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 there. And back, then forward, and then spin, but I, you know... Then when I go over here, there's a rope, and then I have to go back and start spinning. Let me go down earlier than... Yeah, 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 that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's from the forest. Though. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, there's people can use what's available. Or make their own ports. You know, it's difficult to port music to Super Mario World. So people just deal with whatever someone else has already done. There we go. Easy. Very good. Alright, Shifting Sands is the next level. The song's so nice, you hear it twice. Alright, so we're learning that uh, there's uh, fire shooting urchins in this level. Odyssey port was probably bugged. Yeah.
Alright, good to have a checkpoint. It's an interesting use of layer 2. A secret exit? What was all that stuff on the right? Oh. Doesn't say there's a secret exit, so there isn't. Alright, companionship. Maybe that was a good water level, by the way. It's hard to make a good water level, that one was fine. We're going to have to learn enough about the bullets to figure out how to dodge them in that kind of space. That's how you do that bit. Oh my god. Well, that was Larry. Get wrecked, Larry. Ah, uh, cool overworld again. Very nice. Uh, redwoods. Oh no, we gotta dodge a lot of hammers in Super Mario World. It's uh, a four tile, four tiles away. Kaizo blocks right now, for some reason. Okay, well, we've got all the different configurations of triple platform moves. You use them all or you lose them all. Another one. Okay, I don't know what to do there. Oh, it's like, it's a Grand Poo world too. Alright. Okay, did I just do the same thing again? I hit my head on that stupid log. Me. Bonk. Oh, no. 
It was fun. Alright. No, it was pretty fun, I guess. It was a good avoid level. Like, the theme there was don't get hit by the things you're not allowed to touch. Uh, and also the triple platforms aided in that too. It was a nice level. Hyperallergenic. I get the feeling we're going to see some volcano plants. Oh, that's right, they fast. There was some suspicious water. I wasn't paying attention. Degrees. Damn, that's kind of cold. Block me. the the level we have to dodge the pollen again it was fine I, it was fine kill mill So a while ago I tried to update to a newer version and I just noped out of it because it, something was messed up. Oh yeah, the input visualizer with the Guitar Hero thing. Yeah, some people use that. When, it, when that first was a thing, I was like, oh, how could I work that in? And then I decided that I, I don't see a way that I can possibly have that be implemented in a way that is readable to anybody. So I let uh, other people can do the Guitar Hero thing. But I, for me, I look at those and I have no idea what it, what it means. I can't tell. I, I gotta like deliberately read all the like letter labels to know what buttons what. 
Um, so I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it for my own thing. But, you know, let other, oh, yeah, that's the people can make whatever layouts they want. Oh, it goes over really far. Oh my god. I can't. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how to do that. No, it's back. I don't, I don't get it still. I don't like having to die there. Find out. Play all this stuff again just to get another look at that. It's that. Alright. So, how far over do I go? Look who it is! It's the Resnor Boys again. I don't have a good visual reference for where safe is. I, should, I wish the mushrooms weren't there. But there's no, there's no reason that you need to like beat this fast. Saw Eldad playing it yesterday. It's a lot of fun. Oh, it's, yeah, Eldad has a lot of fun playing pretty much anything, right? I like it so far. Sometimes so you gotta work out what to do. All right, magic tar pits. All right, how magic are they? All oh, right, sticky scene. Sticky floor also. I just, I had to stop there for a sec because I thought I had ice physics. Oh, we, we use that one. Alright, that's fine. Let's wait another cycle. Too high to yeah, alright, that's fine. Okay, I thought it was gonna be hold right. Follow through. Oh no what? Oh no. Uh, morning or yeah, well, it's evening. Okay, it's uh, it's midnight actually right now. Um, but I'm drinking coffee, so <laughs> that's that's what's wrong with me. Here again? Oh, that's yeah, this part. Yeah. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, which directly inspired the Chrono Trigger tune, and the samples the port uses are from the game. Well, there we are. Oh, wait, this was a screenshot. I remember seeing that.
There we go. Oh, sticky ceiling, of course. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Why am I going here? Because that's safe. Ah. Alright. Oh my god. Why did I... Mm. What's my YouTube credits music called? Uh, I think, I think it's called, uh, it's called boc1.wav. Hope this helps. Oh. Oh. You're not gonna find it. Okay, the only, that music only exists as, as long as that, you've heard it. Yeah, I did compose that, I'm just telling you what the file name is. There's no more of it, that's all there is. I just put that much because that's as long as it needed to be. And by compose, I mean the drums are literally uh, a drum break, you know, I just... <laughs> I didn't actually program the drums or anything. It's just a good break. stick. The reason it's called BOC1.wave is I was listening to Boards of Canada, you know that music has the right to children album from like 98, I was listening to that. I was like, can I get any vibe from that? And that was the closest I could do uh, in the half hour I spent. <laughs>